Uh, my uncle's name is Abdul Karim. Uh, Hedge was his last name. He came here, I believe, in the 70s. And like a lot of my uncles who did come, like were doing a lot of like just finding jobs, right? Like security at a building or selling merchandise from like store to store or sometimes from bar to bar, like selling watches or... So like the village that my family's from is a very, it's not like a prosperous village, right? Like they rely on like farming on the sort of produce they create and so like it's not like they were financially stable there either so I mean there's a luxury of like you know eating from the land and everything you know there's like a romantic a romanticism about it but um, the reality is that can we survive the winter right can we survive these following months can we make a better life for ourselves and for that curiosity, you would travel, you know, across the ocean and you hear about this other land. And so you, that curiosity kind of leads you there. But he always fought. So the idea that COVID can stop him was like nothing I would like. I'm like, oh no, like, this guy has like a thousand lives. Like he could survive this one, right? I didn't get a call for him, from him. Like we would call maybe every other day, if not every day. If I didn't answer, he would leave a voicemail like yelling at me. <laughs> and I didn't get a call from him in a few days. And I was like, what's going on? And then I hear that he was in the hospital. I'm like, what happened? They're like, oh, he had COVID. I'm like, why didn't he tell me anything? Like, I would have been there. And like, for him, he had a fear to tell me because he didn't want me to come visit. He was still very proud of his identity. If I was taking him to a doctor office or we were shopping at Walgreens or something. Whenever he can interject, I'm Palestinian, I'm Arab, he was very proud of that and he wanted people, everyone to know that, right? From the Arab community, I've, I, I don't know the numbers, right? But I'm always hearing like, um, even when I went to go bury, when we had the funeral for my uncle, um, the people, like I was talking to the people at the place and they're like, yeah, this guy died from COVID, this guy died from COVID, I'm just like, Ah, uh, like what's going? Yeah, I'm like, what's going on? You know, like, um, and then to top it all off, it's like we're not getting that data. Like, I wish to like, not like wish, but like I, I really want to see that data. Like, if we had that data, I feel like organizations and um, non for profits can like, hey, you know what? This data is really alarming. A community of people need certain resources and help and there's no data tracking that, then how can we help those communities?